guess what we are nutty for right now on City Line? It's zucchinis and the one and only Michael Bonaccini. Give him a big hand. We are talking about zucchinis because yeah. they are everywhere right now. Now's the time to go get them. Lots plentiful, different sizes and shapes, different colors, great to use during the summer for sure. Now a lot of people don't know the difference between the different zucchinis. We know they all look different, but um, are you getting different flavors from different zucchini? N not so much different flavor, but a slightly different texture, that's for sure. Okay. So the very small zucchini, which these are the ones that the chefs love to use in restaurants because you can slice them, you can cook them whole, you can grill them whole, you can roast them. They're the, they're the prized zucchinis when you pick them that small. Okay. As they become a little larger, you use them for different uh, dishes, such as a couple I'm going to be doing today, which is one including in pasta. And then when you get to the, the larger size and bigger, then that's the kind of thing you want to use, certainly in a, uh, a ratatouille, for example. Okay. Because it's a little more robust, it'll, it'll stand up to a little bit more lengthy cooking. Right. But the taste doesn't really uh, change a whole lot. You get a little bit more seeds, so texturally it'll be a little softer. But uh, beautiful colors, bright yellow, really says uh, summertime. Yeah. We've also got these uh, little ones here called patty pan squash. So those ones I don't know uh, as much. They're not exactly a zucchini 100%. We cook with them as if they were zucchinis. Mm -hmm. They are related to a zucchini and whatever you do with a zucchini you can certainly do with these. From raw to cooked to roasted. Really delicious. Okay. And then these which we see every once in a while are uh, zucchini blossoms and squash blossoms. Which in restaurants you certainly see them deep fried, tempured or in the fancier restaurants they'll stuff them with um, um, a fish mousse or a chicken mousse, that Ooh, sort of nice. thing, and steam them. Okay, really so delicious. you do that at your restaurants, don't you? Every once in a while. Yeah, you can get <laughs> a little like fancy. We like to show off. We Absolutely. show off, exactly. So we're going to make a recipe, uh, maybe not as fancy, so you're going to be able to follow along at home. Sautéed zucchini. Just as tasty. Oh, absolutely. With tomato, garlic puree, and a little bit of pasta. So right that's now right. what you're smelling that's so amazing is really just uh, sautéing onions, right? Onions, garlic, and I have a little bit of uh, jalapeno pepper in there. Oh, nice. And that's Give in it a, a good little splash. Kick. Exactly. Want a little bit of heat because mm -hmm. with the zucchinis, they're such a mellow vegetable that you can add layers of different flavors to right. it. Right. So the heat is coming from the uh, chilies, the oil, the garlic, and the onion. Nicely put in there. Looks great. I've taken the zucchinis and just using a spoon, removed some of that seedy soft portion. Right. And I'll explain that why I'm doing that right now. It just that the I taste want to. A little bit. It changes the taste a little bit, but it also makes sure that um, I can use the slightly firmer part of the zucchini. So, so it's a textural thing. Okay. And all I do is slice it on the bias just like that mm -hmm. and add it re directly into the pot. Okay. And if I can ask you to keep stirring that for me. I can do that. Wonderful. I think. There we go. Why didn't you use. My color coordinated spatula. Absolutely. Yes, <laughs> it's very important that we coordinate exactly. the colors. So we add our zucchini to this, and that just cooks down for a couple of minutes or two. Now and you guys often thing, say it's always good to have them sort of like the same size. Is that what you're trying to do in this? That's exactly what we're trying to do: is have them roughly the same size so they cook the same t length of time. Okay. And zucchinis like this don't take very long at all to cook, so just a matter of uh, minutes, really. Okay. So once that's in and cooked down a touch, we'll add. A little diced tomato. Nice. And hear all that good sizzling. That's what we want to hear. I love it. The pan loves it. It certainly does. Mm -hmm. We've got some beautiful black olives that the pits have been removed. Very important. Absolutely. <laughs> you talk about texture. <laughs> in they go. Look at that. I mean, just look, even look at the colors in that. The colors just say. You know you're getting a well-balanced. Spring and summer all the way. Meal. A splash of white wine because it always mm -hmm. tastes better that way. Okay. And then I'm using whatever fresh herbs, soft herbs you would like. Obviously the very typical basil in such a dish would work really, really well. Nice. But I also like to add some fresh mint. I'm on a bit of a mint kick right now. And Are you adding growing mint, it and does it grow like crazy? It grows it's taken wonderfully over our garden. wild, plentiful, exactly. We have mint tea, fresh mint tea in the evenings, really delicious. Oh, smell that. Yeah, smell good. It really yeah. comes to life, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really does. And of course we have to add uh, my some colleague, butter. Jason Parsons favorite. Some he would butter, be really upset if we didn't do but this. But no bacon, that's right. <laughs> no bacon today. So we just add that in. Good stuff. Once that's cooking down, you'll see the butter will start to thicken up that sauce and make it just enough so it coats. Right. Once that's happening, I'm going to take my egg noodle fettuccine. And the reason I've used this egg noodle is because it's nice and light and delicate mm -hmm. and goes really well with a thinly cut uh, zucchini. Oh, good to know so because I'm, I'm sure some people look in the uh, the pantry and you see all the different pasta and you're not really sure what to pick for what. Yeah, absolutely. There are some ground rules. You know, if you've got uh, penne, you want to use penne, you want to use rigatoni, go for it. But right. this is one of my favorites because okay. it's light in texture. You got it. So to reheat this, I just drop it back into my pot of boiling water. Excuse my reach. Yeah, go ahead. Just to warm that one up. 
Now, I'm just going to show you a quick little thing here with these zucchinis All that, right. um, as you know, we've just cooked them off and they're beautiful and tender right now. You can take this exact same ragu, just like this. Yeah. And this is uh, uh, really using it for two sorts of dishes, if you wish. So you don't need to cook it any longer than that, huh? Don't like this cook isn't it just the magic longer. of television. That's it's not, pretty much this done. This is real time. That's okay. exactly right. We take our noodles out into the pan. I'm going to ask you to give that a little toss. There we can go. I toss or you, can I stir? You can jiggle it around and toss it around, whatever you like I'm to do. I'm to do the toss, people. I'm trying to protect and you. For example, this works really well as a ragu, maybe serving with a lovely piece of salmon or a wonderful piece of grilled chicken off that the barbecue. That looks great. To finish the pasta off, we'll yep. just add a touch of Parmesan cheese. Okay. You got it. Let me give this a quick one last toss. See, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I was afraid. <laughs> well, there we go. Beautiful. Done. Done like dinner. That looks amazing. More. And you know what? You get your pasta, you get your vegetables, you get everything that's good for you in one dish, and it's still nice and light for summer. You don't have a heavy cream sauce, just, you know, a bit of butter. That's Nothing exactly. wrong just with a that. Bit of butter. Exactly. Putting that on our website, cityline.ca, so you can make your own zucchini ragu. We're going to go to break. More coming up. Stay with us.